Here is question number 8. We have 5 to the 8th power over 5 to the 4th power. And this question is testing us about the rule of exponent. This is a division situation. Of course, it's not fun for me to tell you what the answer is. So let's investigate what's going on right here by understanding what does the exponent mean. And then we also have the multiplication situation and also power to power situation. You should check out my next video for that. But then let's focus on the division situation. Here we have 5 to the 8th power. Let's just focus on this first. Look at the power, the 8. This 8 will tell us to write down the number 5. That's called the base. The 5, 8 times. So I will just put that on the top. So I'll write down 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. I have 4 so far. And then 1 more, 2 more, 3 more, 4 more. All together, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 of these 5 multiplying together, that's what it means by 5 to the 8th power. The power 8 tells us to do that. And then we have over, so it's just like a fraction. So we over the fraction bar right here. And then we have 5 to the 4th power. And this power 4 tells us to write down the number 5 4 times. So I'll write down 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. That's it. So this is the expanded version of that. And now, we are pretty much just working with fractions. And what we can do is, we can cancel things out. Whenever we have a factor on the top that match with the factor on the bottom, we get to cancel out. So we see that this 5 can be canceled with this 5. So it's this 5 with that 5, and then we can also pair up these two 5s together. And then lastly, we can cancel this 5 and that 5. So at the end, what do we have left? We have 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 of the 5s multiplying on the numerator. 4 of the 5s multiplying on the numerator. And we can use exponent to write this expression. So let me just kind of circle this in blue right here. These 4 5s are the surviving 5s, uh, right? And then they are on the numerator. So I can just write this down as 5 to the 4th power. 5 times 5 times 5 is 5 to the 4th power. And as you can see, that's pretty much the answer. That's answer choice D right here. This is the idea. But then sometimes you don't want to just like write down the fives like eight times because if I change the equation, let's say I change the eight to let's say 82. I don't want to write down the five 82 times. So this is what we can do. Let me put this down on the side. So if we have some number B raised to the n power over some number B, raised to the n power. So this is the division situation, just like this right here. What we do is the b, the base, stays the same. And then we just look at the exponent on the top. So let me write down the m. And then we are going to subtract the exponent on the bottom. So I write down that's n. So this right here is the rule of exponent for the division situation. Whenever we divide, we are going to subtract the exponent if the base are the same. So here, to get this 4, the, sure, the, the easy way to do this is just look at the 8 and then subtract the 4. So I can write this down for you guys. This is just 8 minus 4. That's how we can get 4 right here. Okay. So once again, when we have a division situation, we are going to take the top exponent and then subtract the bottom exponent. That's how we can get the new exponent. So this is it for number eight. And don't forget to check out my other videos for the multiplication situation and then the power to the power situation.